Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad. And this review we're going to look at a Melvin a Brewing Beer. And this one is the 2x4, two, two, four, two times 4 This is their double IPA. And this weighs in at a ground shaking 9.9%. I was going to do the other fancy beer, the Chaco Libre. But I thought now nah, I want some a bit kick ass tonight. So I thought, not to be cupboard, not to be fridge, what I had, and this is what popped up. I thought, yes, I'll have a little bit of this chap here. So, it says on the side, dear enjoyer, 2x4, has a, a, a stupid amount of hops, laid on a, a, a light malt base, which gives way to notes of pine, citrus and tropical fruit. While there are many great beer styles from, uh, from the past, think, think of this as a beer from the future. Don't hate, party. Says so, so there. Um, the Belgian Brewing are out of Alpine, Wyoming, in the States. Gives you a little bit of guff on the side there about consumption. Consumption! About alcohol consumption. Um, I bought this out of Barton to actually make it feel £4.50. Uh, so I'll get this label off because all the info I need for Canada on and SB4 are, are under there. So I have got, here we go, this is like Christmas, so count on the 15th of the 12th, 17, yeah 15th of the 12th, 17, and it says good people drink great beer, there you go, so it's nearly a year, it's, well, it's nine months old. It's probably past its really past its best, but hey ho, <clears throat> let's see what we get. Let's pop a top. I think I have done one Melvin before. Um, I think it's under Herman. Anyway, let's see what we get here. Come on, let's go. Okay, so be on a glass then. Hazy orange looking thing. Nice two fingers of rugged. You can see white, I see just slightly off. Mine's more of an ivory colour. Uh, no particulates, just really a good looking double IPA. Coming at just under two thirds of a pint. So. Looks great. So I'll put it all in up to you for it's had a shot. Looks great. Let's get a nose, see what we can smell, eh? Whoa. Whoa. Big floral punch there. It's pine. Oh, wow. There's um, a little bit of the old peachy apricotty stuff. Grapefruit and pineapple. There's a nice. Uh, Grapefruit rind, peel type aroma, um, and a little bit of sweetness too going on. It's a typical double IPA to be fair. It smells really, really good. It looks the business. So let's see what we get on the taste. Cheers. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, oh, that's good. But give me goosebumps. It's genuinely give me goosebumps. Is that good? Right, carbonation. Hardly any there. It's super light. It's not sharp. It's not aggressive. It's a nice, got a nice carbonation to it. It's lovely. <coughs> it tastes my breath a bit a little bit. Um, body wise, it's probably a light to medium body, but it's silky smooth. It's almost velvety in the mouth. It is lovely. I've got a great mouthfeel. On the taste, we've got pine and resin, and our predominant flavours right up front. Then it goes, it fades, and you're left with a little bit of uh, grapefruit, um, and a bit of mango, and a bit of sweetness from a, from a sort of stone fruit, apricot, and um, peach, like overripe peach and apricot flavours. <coughs> it's brilliant. There is a nice, subtle, 
I'll go for um, back end. I feel a little bit here. It kind of took me breath away a little bit. I wasn't expecting that. But it builds quite nicely. I can, I can feel it. <coughs> it's warm on me. This is a super, super beer. Really like this a lot. I consider this nine months old. If this, if they got this at its peak, I reckon we're looking at sort of, if they got this around about April time, maybe March, they'll probably be in for a right treat when everything was at its, at its, its height. For me, it's lost no flavour. It's really comfortable to drink. Couldn't drink many of them. It's 9.9. .9. It's boarding on a big boy's drink. Not a bad bit of lace neither. Oh, this has restored my faith in double IPAs. This has. This is a quality beverage of £4.50. I think it's a bit of a bargain. <coughs> Especially because it's 9.9%. .9%. So call it 10. It's rounded all up here, people. I always round up, never round down. Um, fantastic. After that big last mouthful, I bought it a little bit of melon as well. I don't like melon, but that's quite that's quite possible because the alcohol is now taking it away. I don't know what this is. It's just taking it's washing it. I don't even know what that is. Um, it's just washing the stuff away. Um, this review's over and done with now. This is a treat. If you've had this beer. What we're talking about. Would I buy this beer again? Yes, I would. I would like it a little bit more fresh, but yes, I would buy this beer again. I would pay £4.50. Would I recommend this to friends? Yes, I would recommend this to friends. I know friends who drink a lot of IPAs, a lot of double IPAs, if you pardon me. I am, and they will, this will go down a treat. And especially 9.9. .9. Ticks like three boxes for me. Good strength, good flavour, good, good looking. Four boxes if you count the Roma. Yeah, I know a few people who really took into this and would enjoy it. I paid the £4.50 for it. Um, so, yeah, I would buy it again. would recommend it to friends. I, um, and I do like it. As I say, I'm, I'm waxing lyrical about this one a little bit now. So, if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. If you're watching for the first time, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you don't. If you are watching for the first time, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Um, get some notifications about when I'm doing this. And as the can says on the side, recycle sucker. So if Mr. T tells me to recycle, this boy's recycling. I'm done. I'm out of here. See you in the next one. Hey, the ale.